Hey, it's KJ, the SG Alcohol Guy. I'm using my Wines and Spirits uh, certification to ensure I'm giving honest reviews about the beers or alcohols that I have in my fridge. Uh, and today, I'm going through something special. It's actually a beer from a hot pot chain. You know, for those who are familiar, there's this chain HDL or Hai Di Lao, uh, where they have really fantastic hot pots, right? The soup base is awesome, the, the, the ingredients are really fresh. So, so it's a very popular restaurant, it's a popular dining in uh, restaurant of choice in Singapore. However, at the time of this filming, there was no dining in available in Singapore uh, and it didn't make sense to order a takeaway of hot pot, right? Because you can just, you know, sort of buy the ingredients and prepare it yourself. So I did the next best thing. I came across their beer and it's a, uh, but they do call it the Hai Di Lao Lager Beer. Yeah, it's uh, with 5% alcohol content. Yeah, it's got a pretty short um, shelf life actually. Production date is um, January and the expiration date is in October. So, and I got this at about $6 a can at a local supermarket. It's a 500 ml can, but it's $6. And, um, you know, I just want to know if this is going to be a, a happy memory, all right, of Hai Di Lao, since I can't dine at Hai Di Lao. Let's see what that tastes like. Oh, it's a nice rich color for a lager. Again, I like to pour it so that there's a lot of foam. Uh, this ensures that it's, it doesn't, you know, foam up in, in my stomach. And this is pretty interesting, right? It's very orangey, you know, pretty much follows the, the, the color of the can. It, it's very orangey. So it's already very different from lagers that I'm familiar with. Yeah, most lagers tend to be a bit more golden, a bit more yellowish. This is just pure orange. It, has, it does have a very lager smell, but I've been fooled before. So, taste test. I, I, I would say that it has a very, well, it just says the ingredients are water, barley, malt, yeast, and hops, but it has a very uh, wheat beer kind of taste. It has a very craft beer kind of taste. It actually vaguely tastes a bit like a whole garden. You know, it's not as sweet as a whole garden. Um, it's still very sweet, don't get me wrong, it's still very sweet, but it's not as sweet as a whole garden. Uh, it has that, has that wheaty taste, you know, it's very interesting for a lager. So it's more like a craft beer style lager as opposed to, a, a, you know, those macro breweries like uh, Tiger, Carlsberg, Heineken. So it's more of a craft beer style lager. If I were having a Mala hot pot, you know, the one with tons of chili inside, this would actually be a very good way to cleanse the palate so that you can continue eating more. The problem I see is this. It is so good at cleansing the palate and has a very nice, beautiful, rich flavor that I might forget about the hot pot and I'll just continue drinking this. So order this at your own risk when you're having um, Hai Di Lao hot pot. Uh, otherwise, I think this is a fantastic option to have at home um, you know, when, when you're having your own hot pot at home where you tend to have a limited amount of ingredients and you need something to top up the space, go for this, yeah? Um, I can only tell you, Hai Di Lao for the win.